Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's one of my infamous tent boxes. And this time I have heat embossed the beautiful fanciful fragrance on the front. Isn't it gorgeous? Just so lovely, it's silver heat embossing. And this is the woven threads DSP. But it's a tent box because it's kind of a tent shape. You put your little treats in there and then you've got a, a DSP wrapper that goes around it. And um, this one has um, seaside spray in the background. I'm just trying to put that back on. It does fit perfectly snugly. Um, maybe a little too snug. There we go. But I love the shape of it. I love that you, the fact that you can get a DSP wrapper without having to use too much DSP. And the shine on that silver is glorious. So this is the stamp set. Absolutely beautiful. It's a red rubber. Just gorgeous. Love it. Okay, so I'm using some more of the woven threads, but this is the one with the purple posy in the background. Okay, so you need a piece of cardstock that measures five and a quarter by 11 inches, which in metric is 13 by 27 and a half centimeters. Okay, so let me get my stylus. On the long side, score it at four inches, five and a quarter, nine and a quarter and ten and a half inches which in metric is 10 13 23 and 26 centimeters and then turn it round and score it at one and a quarter three inches so the size of the box is four by four by one and a quarter which in metric is 10 by 10 by three centimeters so nice to get a little treat inside i reckon move that out of the way and grab a bone folder. Purple Posy is such a pretty colour and yeah just lovely. Okay so that's all burnished so I'm going to snip some bits away. So when you hold it this way now just take a just mitre a little bit up at the top and then take that rectangle away and then cut straight up the other parts okay so I'm going to put some adhesive down there love tear and tape for this I love tear and tape because I can tear it I'm a speed crafter I wouldn't say I was an impatient crafter but I like to work at speed so that's the back, so I'm going to fold two sides, I'm going to try and fold two sides in and the back, and I've got two cats going bonkers outside my office, and oh that's a manky end, and then run some more tear and tape here. Close that up neatly, and I completely forgot to do the markings down the side. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, and it's written right there. Let's check is that going to push in and not cause issue? Do you know what? It's okay, however, if you would like to have beautifully neat markings here. At the point you've scored it, let me just pretend this is the paper, so you've scored it fully and one horizontally and then you part score at four and five eighths, nine and seven eighths, which is eleven and a half and twenty four and a half centimetres and you would get a much neater line than that. But, you know, I'm already part of the way in, but that's going to be fine actually. It is going to be okay. You don't have to part score, but yeah, you do get a crisper line. But it's not essential right okay so we're going to wrap this dsp and the way to wrap and it's four inches wide by 11 inches long which is too long but that's okay we're going to trim a bit um that's 28 well 10 centimeters by 28 centimeters and you start at the bottom and line it up and just gently press to get that first line round take it away and make sure it's all lined up, left and right. Bring it back, put it back into place at the bottom. 
and then hold it in place. So I'm holding it down on the cardstock. I'm going to pinch here and wrap that paper over the top. Don't do it too tightly or you'll have a very snug fit. So you can see my paper is here at the bottom and I've wrapped it. And again, I'm just going to make sure that I've got it straight. Okay, so the first two and wrap again. And I'm going to press down at the end. And again, take it away, make sure it's straight. And as I said before, there's too much, but that's okay. We're going to stick it down. I'm going to notch it first. So I'm going to trim it away while holding it in place. And it's better to have half an inch, a couple of centimetres too long than not enough and you've got a gap here. Okay. Oh, no, I don't need to put that bit on yet. <laughs> okay. So, this is all going to fold in nicely. So I need to determine which is my front because I'm now going to heat emboss it before I start wrapping it. So this is my front panel. And I'm going to tuck that one away so that I'm going to heat emboss here. So I've got my embossing buddy. It's just going to take the static off of there. And I've got my Versamark, which is this one. And I'm going to pull out this. And while I'm here, I'm going to go for Dear You, Thank You for Everything, which I've got a scrap, and this is a scrap left over from where I trimmed. And look at that, it fits perfectly. So, nice big block for this one. And I'm going to use my grid paper to line up this one. And I don't know if you can hear the rain, it's coming down. So this is my Versa mark, it's going to go all over this. Good coverage. And as you can see, I folded up the bottom. And I'm just kind of eyeballing where I want that to go. bring it away and then I'm going to ink this one up as well and I'm taking it off to the right hand side just so that I can I've got something to grab onto when I snip it away okay now so I've got a scrap of paper silver embossing powder not easy to see on the pattern paper don't flick it too hard because you don't want it all to come off back into the pot and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my heat gun going so if you've got the volume up now turn it down I'm waiting for it to warm up on my hand. I'm going to do the cardstock piece first. And it turns it from that horrible dull grey to this beautiful silver. That's that one done. And then this one I'm going to go a little bit more gently with. When it gets to the optimum temperature, it suddenly changes. There we go. And then what I want to do now is this panel here is going to be at the front, so I'm going to put some of my tear and tape on there. 
and wrap. And there is no right or wrong as to what's the front and back, but because obviously it's all going to get hidden away. But wrap it round. Um, peel off that tape. I like to say, don't go super duper mega tight because you still want to be able to slide it on and off. So that's on there and just check it slides, which it does. Just lovely. And then I'm going to take my scissors and snip it off. Give you the measurement, it's three quarters of an inch. Oh, what's three quarters of an inch in centimetres? Two centimetres. There you go. For that panel there, a couple of dimensionals. Oh, nearly at the end of a pack. Who saves the edges? I do. I do. Dear you, thank you for everything. Up in the top corner. And that, I think, is a rather lovely fanciful fragrance box. You could even get some of those little fragrance samples and pop them inside but you know these kind of boxes you can put anything and actually it doesn't look too bad. It's maybe not, maybe I didn't pull that tight enough. Um, very nice. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.